Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to Brave New World Blindfolded. So the next place everyone voted on was apparently the Ancient Castle, which is good because most of this is not too difficult by this point, so... I, I mean, especially not this first part, just going through the cave to get to the castle. The castle will be a little bit more challenging, but I, it won't be super difficult. Alright, so I should have reached the guy by now. Let's talk to him. He says, uh, he gives you the option to go back or to stay, and obviously I want to go back. So let's select that option. Give him a couple seconds to walk to the switch, and say, erg, and... Now it, that cutscene should be playing. It's not super long, but I want to give it some time to make sure, because... If I select the text boxes wrong, I'll probably end up continuing on, and then I'll just get messed up completely. So I think that should be enough, hopefully. We seem to have reached the wrong... Uh, a weird stratum, or something like that. I don't know. I know it uses the word stratum, that's just a weird word to use. Now I select the bottom option. Now I can... Oh, my menu like expected. Now let's walk to the right. Since uh, since I talked to him, I moved to the bottom of him, which means that I just need to hold right to walk up the staircase. Kind of handy. Walk down a bit. And thanks to the design of Figaro, that just puts you right in the jail. Down to the chair, left one step, all the way down. I'll give this guy a little bit of breathing room, but not that much, because... He can only stay in my way for so long, because he's not actually random. But because he's not random, I can't just go right up to the jail cell, because then I can get stuck on him permanently. So that's awkward. I So instead I'll just run to the right, back one step to the left, and all the way to the top. Alright, so now I'm in... Now I'm in the uh, cave part. So obviously the encounters are going to start showing up now, not that they're super challenging by any means, but... Alright, so player one or player two? Player two. So let's move down to the auto crossbow. Player one. Okay, this is Gao. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Apparently they're giving me time to get ready here. That's Shadow, and there we go. And that's pretty much all the strategy I have to put into this dungeon. From here on out, I should just need to hold A. They are continuing to miss me, apparently. Is it the end of that fight? Nope. Thing is, Glare works so nicely on everything down here. As far as I think. It didn't kill anything there, apparently. I think nothing's immune to Petrify except the one enemy in the second half. But maybe I didn't do such a good job to checking it, or maybe it just happened to miss. Remedy everyone just in case. I think I'm probably good on the healing. Let's not. All the way down. Then I just need to take one step to the right, and then go all the way down again. I There's nothing stopping me from fighting the Master T now, or grabbing that other chest over there. But, turns out that in terms of the navigation, it's easier for me to do that on the way back. And there's nothing I particularly need either. Ugh. It's not a very good time for a battle. At least it's not going to interrupt my conver conversation. I mean, well, it's technically true too, but at least it's not going to interrupt my concentration because uh, I just got to continue holding A anyway, so. Nope, oh, something punched me. The cave scum is probably the most uh, dangerous thing down here. For sure, the urchins will die in a hit from Auto Crossbow from both uh, Edgar and Gogo. -Go there, they're not exactly built to. They're not exactly built to take on two hits from Auto Crossbow. The enemies down here have uh, extremely high magic defense. Not as high as in vanilla, but... Magic... What? Not used to selecting cure 2. Oh yeah, right. I think I messed up because... Skills, Edgar, magic... Cure 2. There we go. 
Not that I probably needed it that much anyway. There we go. I have my Thunder Guard. Marginally useful later, I guess. One, two, all the way down into the door. So this part, I can continue walking right and down. Down's always a safe option after a battle if any come up. But and one apparently did. So yeah. But even though they have high magic defense, they show up in groups a lot, so physical multi-target attacks are pretty great here, to be honest. That glare seemed to kick in. Really the only time it's super helpful to get a glare is on the pawn scum guys. Because they're pretty... they can be pretty dangerous. I think I got a uh, premium strike there. I mean, not really dangerous, but... Slightly more dangerous than everything else. Because the urchins, all they really do is, like, megavolt or something. Don't really care. Not at this point. They're not going to last long enough to do much with the seizure either, so... All the way to the left. And all the way up. There we go. Grab that thing... Whatever that thing actually is, I don't even know. Left is always a safe option here. If a battle comes along and I don't know which is which step which direction I just stepped in. That's one enemy dead right off the bat. Zarathians all it's also kinda handy against the Zarathians because Especially if it goes off before fire skein. I'm hearing attacks this time, maybe someone got poisoned. Well, let's see, did that clean everything out? If, it, if it's an all urchin battle, two auto crossbows will do it always. Okay. Oops. Item. Nope, no one needed that. Skills, Edgar, Magic, Cure 2. So yeah, I guess they didn't hit me with their attack that poisons me. Poison's not a status I want to leave on while I'm running around like an idiot. Oh, well, that's a pain in the butt. Although it's looking like it might be a preemptive strike, so maybe not. Preemptive strike is pretty much a wipe for them because my strategy is pure offensive and the enemies down here really can't take that because they're kind of scrubby. I don't even really need to do the menu trick there because they all died before they did anything. They can't have possibly done anything there so I can just keep walking. The navigation down here isn't too hard either. Especially since right now I'm pretty much skipping everything. S since it's easier to get it all on the way back. That Thunder Guard is the only sh treasure chest I'm actually getting. The Master T uh, drops an Avenger. Which might be slightly useful for someone right now. Not really sure. I'm not using it at the moment though. Perhaps it would be worthwhile to pull off some sort of other strat against... Katana Soul if I want to. Some sort of go-go Avenger strat. Dual wielding an Avenger in the Demon's Bane, or perhaps the Holy Rod. But I don't think I should need to do that. Not a preemptive strike this time, which is a shame, but... At least one thing's not going to get to attack me. The other chests down here are all just com like, well, not common consumables, uncommon consumables. Which, obviously I don't need right now. Not with the team that auto-crossbows everything. Okay. Continue going all the way up. Left, up, all the way to the left. And now, it's much easier for me right now to save those other chests for later, 
and just go down left into this hole because it lines me up perfectly. And even though I end up going way too far once I actually enter this spot, you know, maybe I could try pressing down twice every time. Maybe that'll guide me into the save point. Yeah, just thought of that on the spot, and apparently it worked. Because I knew I, I'm so close to hitting the save point. Oh, apparently Edgar was poisoned. Well, perhaps that was stupid of me to leave him poisoned then. But it doesn't really make a difference. Because it's time to use the tent. Perhaps not even worth that much right now. Because I barely used any of Edgar's MP, but... Better safe than sorry, I suppose. Shadow is level 20. That gives enough MP HP to survive Guild Toss anyway. And that will be coming up right now. Well, let's finish the second half of what I want this segment in particular to contain. I'm trying to get over to Katana Soul right now. Unfortunately, I really don't want any in battles inside the castle in this segment because... I'm not really prepared for them, especially not Weapon, who can be pretty dangerous. Especially compared to most of these very lame encounters out here. Let's see, did I make it to the cutscene? I think I did. No menu tricks, so... Yeah, made it to the cutscene. The, the part I... But yeah, the inside battles are going to be a pain in the butt. Although I do still want to grab the Punisher in this segment because it's so much easier to get to it from the end of this cutscene than it is at any other point. And that way next segment I can just walk straight up and pretty much just make it to the castle when I want to and not have to veer off to the side for the Punisher. Which would be incredibly awkward and, and or waste a lot of steps. Force me to get extra encounters that I don't want, so... Let's not do that, let's just continue going. So, this cutscene's annoying because it wastes a lot of time. I could always just go back and save after doing it, but I'm not going to do that. Seems kind of silly to go all the way back to the save point after this. It's not like it's far, but it's just... Don't want to break this up into tons of mini sews just for the sake of it. The segment's not too long after this, but the inside battles can still be very dangerous because I don't really know what I'm doing in them properly. On a side note, I find it kind of funny how Shadow's the one telling this story. I mean, I know why he is, but <laughs> it just seems kind of strange to have him be the one doing it. I'm sure it would be even stranger if I brought, like, an Amaro Gogo party or something. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. All the way up to the top. I've walked quite a distance so far, so I'm kind of surprised I haven't hit anything yet. But... It's not like it works entirely in my favor, though, because it means that I'm probably likely to hit something inside this room here. Which is exactly where I don't... Oh, wow. That's exactly where I do want to hit a battle the last step before I enter the room. Uh, wait. It actually... Okay, yeah, this is Shadow. What? I don't get... Why did it make two cancelling noises the one time when I did that? Oh, right, because I selected something, but... Oh, fire scrolls must be at the top. Durr. This is Gao. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, shoot. Whatever. Alright, let's have you select auto crossbow.
This is kind of not going super well. Because apparently I'm making a lot of mistakes for no reason. Okay, so now I want to send you down to uh, Autocross folk here. I heard a Pearl Wind, so I guess there's some of those, uh, what are they called, Mephistos? Well, Shadow might be dead from that. I don't hear a... Okay, that Pearl Wind's getting on my nerves, it's probably healing a lot, but I'm not sure. Okay, maybe it's dead. Auto my auto crossbow does do a ton of damage to these guys because they are really weak to physical attacks. Ugh. Item. Why was I so far down in the item list? That confuses me a little bit, but um. Remedy. No one needed that. Let's also check Phoenix Downs. Because that last battle was a little bit wonky and I wasn't paying that much attention to my own survival in some ways. Skills, magic, go go. Cure 2. You have to have the magic command set to him, so to use the magic out of combat with him. Which is why I have the magic command set even though I'm not using it in combat at all. Grab the Punisher, that'll be handy, but I'm not not handy enough that I'm going to bother going out of my way to equip it while blindfolded. Aw, oh, really? Why did I have to get a battle in here? Just had a fight, like, two seconds ago. I really... But, the good news is, I heard it's con... I heard that it was a, a condemned, so uh, there's no weapon in this fight. Which... It, at least means that I'm not fighting the most dangerous thing there right now. It's still a pain in the butt that I got an encounter just before I walked in here, and yet I still get an encounter in this room. It's at the end of that, because... nope. Goodbye to something else. Maybe it was too Lilith or something. At least... The most dangerous capture outside this area, but compared to some of the encounters inside, well, mostly just the weapon, I think. Which I can probably figure something out for not too badly when I actually bother to figure something out for it, but that's not what I'm doing in this segment, because I just want to have a straight run to Katana Soul. Skills, go go magic here too. Alright, so all the way down. Left one step, all the way down some more. Make sure I get out. One, two, three. All the way to the left. Okay, nothing there. Unfortunate, because that's a bit of a long stretch. Right one, all the way up. Right? Okay, so this should be Katana Soul right here. Alright, so let's see who comes up first, player one or player two. Okay, so it's player one. Okay, this is Gao. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Mantodia is pretty nice to this fight, just does a lot of damage. Perhaps if I thought it through, I could do something a little bit better. Oh yeah, and it resists wind, which helps against this wind slash. Fire skein. Okay, so now I need to figure it out, is this Edgar or Go-Go? This is Edgar, in fact. Let's see if he counters Shadow. He didn't, so let's throw out a Chainsaw, because he wasted his turn too. Apparently, I think. And this should be Go-Go, which means I want to move him down to throw, and... Fire Skeen's cut doing so much coming from Shadow, why not have Go-Go do the same thing? He doesn't have the Rogue Cloak, but at least his magic power's higher. 
That chainsaw will throw in a little bit more damage. Alright, this has got to be Edgar. What? That doesn't make sense to me. Maybe I was wrong about that somehow. I don't know. Yeah, Gogo somehow managed to actually beat Edgar to the punch there, which kind of surprises me. Cure 2. Start up the Cure 2 train. I don't think I wasted that much time figuring it out, though, to be honest. Those fire schemes just wail on him so much. It's ridiculous. Okay. That's... That's the main thing he's got, Giltas. So if I survive that once with flying colors, I'm in pretty good condition. Uh-oh. I think he might have counter-attack killed Shadow or Gogo. -Go. Another attack out there. That's not good. Okay, never mind. Shadow's definitely not dead. I can take a guild toss even if Shadow dies, but things get a little dicey. Oh, never mind. Goodbye. So let's hope a weapon just doesn't show up and ruin my day. And I should be good. Down. Right. All the way. Oh, dang it. Really? Watch, this is probably a weapon, too. Let's throw a fire skein. I think. Ah, this can't be a weapon, can it? Because his special sounds like thunder. And I think his special attack's the only thing that can sound like that, so... I'm probably okay. If I'm right about that. This is Gogo. -Go. Oh no wait, no it's not, it's Edgar. Yeah, multiple enemies as well. Normally I'm not thrilled to fit here- oh, hey, there's more than one enemy in this encounter, but this time, kinda glad. Um, this is Gao, obviously. Man, Toadie is probably fine. Oh yeah, I forgot to put Gao in the back up back for the katana soul fight shuriken i also forgot to heal after the katana soul fight was which was perhaps even dumber of me oh what s cross where's that coming from dang inside encounters that's why I didn't want any! Seriously, why did it give me so many? Still three enemies left. Well, there goes two for sure. Hopefully the lot of them, because... Alright. Item. Phoenix down. Actually, that's a remedy, not a Phoenix Town. <laughs> Skills, go go, magic, cure two. Apparently, everyone actually survived that, despite my dumb mistake of not healing. All the way down. I'm almost out of here now, just four steps to the right and all the way down. One. Two, three, four. Let's see. Can I make it all the way without a single encounter? Nope. It's weird running for that long and actually having an encounter all the, after all that. Lilith's probably the most dangerous thing, too. Uh, shuriken. Multi-target the shuriken. Gao to his thing. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, I'm starting to think that, uh, one second, why do the noises sound kind of weird? I, 
I'm thinking perhaps, uh, what's his face? It's a, the thing that uses shrapnel would probably be better than dragon here, because I already knew it was Lilith, but... Yeah, because now I'm wasting turns using glare, and it's only twice as strong, and I don't get shrapnel out of the deal either, so... It's only twice as strong as Gouge anyway, I think. Perhaps four times if Gouge is one of the status effect inflicting ones. Okay, that's it. I don't think I can get another battle before the exit. Just gonna bank on that because I'm too lazy to heal. Because I've definitely never ran that far and still had an encounter, so... Alright, so once I reach the bottom couple steps up, left, all the way to the top, back, and then back to the save point. Most of that last bit was using the route that I originally planned for the first part, but I ended up not using it because I figured that out that other trick halfway through. So my character's levels are improving a little. Shadows in particular <laughs> really needs it because he was looking kind of low. Either way, though, he's not going to be helping, much help against the blue dragon. See you next time.